The president of the Chicago Teachers Union is defending her and her husband's choice to send their son to a private school despite the criticism it's created. And WGN's Christine Flores joins us with the latest on this controversy tonight. Ray and Micah, good evening. In an interview with WBEZ, Davis Gates pointed to the disinvestment in her own community as a factor for her decision. It's a choice critics say is hypocritical. We send our children to the Chicago public schools and remember we live next door to you. That was a message Stacey Davis Gates made last year. Now the Chicago Teachers Union leader faces claims of hypocrisy after admitting she enrolled her eldest child in a private high school in the city's south side. During an interview with WBEZ Thursday, Davis Gates said, it was a difficult decision for us because there is not a lot to offer black youth who are entering high school in many of our schools on the south side and west side. The course offerings are very marginal and limited. It's a choice. The Illinois Policy Institute, a conservative think tank that is often critical of the union, is calling out. Stacey Davis Gates is talking out of both sides of her mouth. She's saying choice is bad for low income people, but it is good for her family. And, and that's that's where we really see the hypocrisy. Davis Gates has been under fire for days after a website criticized her for being anti-school choice, but then making the choice to send her son to a Catholic school. In a statement sent to members, Davis Gates says the story was initiated by a disgruntled former CTU employee who has publicly doxed my teenage son online, posting his name, photo, school, sports team, and more. She went on to point at things like the lack of high quality neighborhood schools as a reason, adding, for my husband and me, it forced us to send our son after years of attending a public school to a private high school so he could live out his dream of being a soccer player while also having a curriculum that can meet his social and emotional needs, even as his two sisters remain in Chicago public schools. Davis Gates has claimed school choice has its roots in racism. We have no problem with Stacey Davis Gates sending her child to a private school where we do have a big problem problem is that she is fighting tirelessly to take away that same opportunity for thousands of families in Chicago and across the state. The teacher union leader wrapped up her statement saying we will continue to oppose siphoning public school resources off to private instructions through voucher programs and we will continue to fight against destructive and racist school closings that have left a trail of devastation in black and brown communities. The teachers union says Stacy has no plans on making any additional comments at this time. There are several other political leaders who have opted to send their children to private schools. Ray and Micah, that includes Governor J.B. Pritzker and former mayors like Rahm Emanuel, Lori Lightfoot, as well as Richard Daly. Yeah, haven't heard the last of this one, I'm sure. Thank yeah. you, Christine.